ang mga Pinoy ready na sa space mission. Dahil bukod dun sa tatlong Pinoy engineers na kabilang sa Mars Exploration, matagumpay ding lumapag sa International Space Station ang Maya 2 Cube Satellite na gawang Pinoy. Lilian Siburcio reports. The navigation has confirmed that the parachute has deployed and we are seeing significant deceleration. Altitude 7.4 kilometers. Now has radar lock on the ground. Current velocity is about 100 meters per second. 6.6 kilometers of the surface Earth. Ito ang makapigil hiningang paglapag ng Perseverance rover ng NASA sa planetang Mars. 20 meters off the surface. Sa tulong ng nakakabit na rover downlook cameras, nasilayan ang surface ng Mars. Kasunod nito, inilabas din ng NASA ang mga bagong larawan ng Red Planet. Pati na ang tunog ng hangin sa Mars. July 13 noong nakarang taon, nilaunch ang six-wheeled robot at lumapag sa Mars nitong February 18. confirmed. Perseverance safely on the surface of Mars, ready to begin seeking the sands of past life. At talagang may pagmamalaki natin sa buong mundo dahil ilang Filipino-American engineers ang bahagi ng makasaysayang misyong ito. Si Gregorio Villar III ang tumutok sa safe landing ng robot sa planeta bilang Entry, Descent, and Landing o EDL Systems Engineer. Siya ang nagbibigay ng update sa mission control. Halos walong taon ang kanyang ginugol sa pagbuo at pagtitest ng system para sa paglanding ng car size rover. As we were going through the atmosphere of Mars, I was battling between holding back tears and focusing on what's happening. Nagtapos si Gregorio ng high school sa St. Louis University sa Baguio City. Noon pa man, paborito na niya ang math at science subjects at malaking parte ng kanyang NASA journey ang naging edukasyon sa Pilipinas. I really enjoyed going to high school there because it really instilled upon me a lot of great Filipino values. Things like the work ethic and just um, the value of money. Si Edward Gonzalez naman, tubong Cavite at Quezon City ang mga magulang. Siya ang lead electromagnetic compatibility engineer sa Mars 2020 mission. Ang kanyang mission, tiyaking maayos ang electrical components ng rover at hindi magkakaroon ng problema sa komunikasyon. It's early in the mission that we would work with the designers. We, we brought the units into lab and tested it and then... Once those went to the actual spacecraft itself, we tested the whole spacecraft and made sure that uh, all of the units could work together without uh, causing interference. At si Genevieve Villar de Young, ipinanganak naman sa Binyan, Laguna. Proud Pinay ang mismong tumao sa mission control room. Bahagi siya ng uplink team na siyang nagpapadala ng software command sa Perseverance rover. They put me in the mission control room and I was able to have the best seat in, the, in town. So it was amazing being in the, in the room and watching everybody screaming. And I have been working on the Mars 2020 project for four years. Ang Perseverance rover ang itinuturing na biggest, heaviest, at most sophisticated robot na ipinadala sa space na may 23 cameras. Halos pitong buwan nitong sumahim papawid bago nakarating sa Mars at tatagal ng dalawang taon ang misyon nito. The reason Mars is so important is because it's our closest planet, our neighboring planet. And in addition to that, it's very kind of it's similar to Earth and we want to study Mars to understand what could happen to our own planet. That Mars 2020 uh, Perseverance is trying to answer is if... Um, if there was any evidence of of past life and that's why we're we're going there to, to collect samples to bring back because uh the labs on earth can find out if that's the case and if that's if it's the case that we could have life on mars which is our nearest neighbor magsasagawa rin ito na experiment na makagawa ng oxygen sa carbon dioxide na siyang pangunahing hangin sa mars landing on mars is just the first step of this journey we have a follow up um mission that is going to pick up all the samples that we took and then send them back to orbit and bring it back to Earth. Bukod sa ilang Pilipinong bahagi ng Mars exploration, alam nyo ba na ang pangalan ng ilang small craters sa planetang Mars ay hango sa ilang lugar sa Pilipinas? 
Kabilang dyan ang bayan ng Bacolor sa Pampanga, Kamiling sa Tarlac, Daet sa Camarines Norte, Naik sa Cavite, Sulano sa Nueva Vizcaya, at Taytay sa Palawan. Ayon sa Gazetteer of Planetary Nomenclature ng United States Geological Survey, ibinasa ito sa mga bayan na may mahigit isandaang libong populasyon. Pero hindi lang Mars ang pinag-usapan pagdating sa Outer Space Mission ng mga Pilipino. Dahil matagumpay ring lumapag sa International Space Station ang Maya 2 Cube Satellite na Tatak Pinoy. Ang nasa likod nito, tatlong Pinoy space engineers na kumukuha ng doctoral degree sa Kyushu Institute of Technology sa Japan. Sina engineers Israel Bautista, Marlon Sehera at Mark Puryo. Ang mismong ano na, countdown na, so kabado. May, may mga instances na sumasabog yung rocket pag uh, nilalaunch o kaya habang nasa langit na bigla lang sasabog. So kasamang sasabog yung satellites namin na pinaghirapan namin. So nilaunch siya sa Sunday, tapos uh, Monday afternoon. Sunday ng madaling araw siya nilaunch, tapos Monday afternoon siya nakarating ng space station. Yes, yung parang gano'n. Uh, safe na nakarating yung payload, yung satellites doon. Uh, so much relief. size ng satellite is 10 by 10 by 10 centimeters. So, nasa halos size lang siya ng piece. And then, yung kanyang maximum weight is 1.3 kilograms. Halos dalawang taon nilang binuo ang nanosatellite mula 2018 hanggang 2020. Yung onset nung final part ng project, uh, nag-pandemic naman. So, kami as uh, members ng team, uh, we're not allowed to go there all in group. So, we have to do some some uh, meetings remotely. Tapos yung mga testing na kailangan itong tao na taong gumawa. We do it remotely na lang. Nag-prepare na kami ngayon uh, doon sa uh, deployment at saka doon sa operation, magiging operation ng satellite. Doon natin makikita yung output mismo ng satellite. Layo ng satellite na makuha na ng pictures at videos ang mga bansa mula sa kalawakan. Makatutulong raw ito sa pananaliksik sa mga lugar na wala pang cell sites sa Pilipinas. May tuturing na panibagong milestone ang paglapag ng Pinoy satellite sa International Space Station. Kaya naman, hinihikayat ng Philippine Space Agency o FILSA ang ating mga kababayan na mag-aral na science, technology, engineering, and mathematics o STEM. We're proud of our engineers and our scientists. No? And we're also proud of our cooperation with other countries uh, that made this possible. I, I am confident in the ability of Filipinos to to really punch above our weight no? and, and achieve great things in space. Uh, we have to build the proper environment for them. The ethics of working hard would, um, would get me somewhere in life. So I think that was, was a big thing is to work hard. And I don't think I was a genius. I see people around me that are so, so much smarter than me. Um, but I think I have my own contribution to make. To the young engineers or anybody that wants to explore space, just, just shoot for the stars. If you miss it, you're still out of this world. <laughs> Do the hard work, take the hardest math, take the science classes, ask questions, and just push push yourself. It's It'll be rewarding. One of the most important things to do is to find something that you love. I chose physics because I was good in math and I love science. And that was the perfect choice because as long as you find something you love to do, it never actually feels like I'm going into work. Sky is not the limit para sa ating mga kababayan na gumawa ng pangalan sa Outer Space Mission. Sa kanilang talento at pagsusumikap, napatunayan na ang mga Pilipino ay kaya rin makipagsabayan sa space industry. Ako si Lilian Tibusio, I stand for truth.